everybody. It is Sunday night, um, very soon to be Monday morning, and it has been a full week since I have posted a video, um, or I guess two weeks, because I didn't post one last week. Um, that's how good my math is. And I actually, I have a video that I, that was, you know, ready to be posted actually Monday last, but <laughs> for whatever reason, the main computer that I use at my house is super, super slow uploading videos to YouTube. And if I'm not sitting there making sure the computer stays awake and doesn't go into standby mode, it will stop uploading halfway through the video. So I think I tried at least five times to upload that finished video, and it just did not work. So at this point, I'm probably just not even going to post it. I didn't really have anything terribly crafty to show last week. Um, I dabbled in some henna. Um, I put together a gift basket for a friend. I, you know, we watched the royal wedding and had some tasty thematic noms, but, you know, not really crafting. So it's not like, you know, it was really a week that needed to be on camera anyway. Nor is this one, I feel like, but um, it does help me keep track of the days and the time remaining of the school year by keeping up with these videos, and I like doing them. Um, so this week, um, I dressed up as Effie. This is the week that I finally did that, and I am proud to say that I scared the living bejesus out of at least a half dozen high school students, which is a pretty big feat, actually. It takes a lot to shake them up. But, um, yeah, they were not expecting the pink wig at all. I had kids walking by all day just, like, looking at me with, uh, mixed horror and admiration and, you know, they just, they thought I was nuts, but they knew that already, so it wasn't a huge deal for them. Uh, I, I really didn't get many great pictures. We were so busy that day. We had a lot going on. I reaped them into their own districts, and, um, so that took most of class. I wish... I wish I had gotten pictures while we were doing the actual reaping. That would have been so much fun. Um, but, you know, it's I didn't want to give my camera to a kid and risk not ever getting it back. That would suck. I know the assistant principal did get a picture of me in my outfit at one point, and I would love to see if I can get a copy of that from her, so I'll ask and see if I can get something up. So that was definitely fun. And, um... I'm actually planning to, I really want to do at least one more costume before this unit is up. I just, you know, I don't know, it I, it helps, it, just, it always helps my students to have a visual representation of whatever it is that we're reading. So, you know, even if it's just a photograph or, you know, if it's me in a pink wig, it catches their attention and they're, you know, they're so their minds are so many places at once and I mean I feel like mine is too but they can't really control that and as well as you know I've learned to control my mind being in many places so they need a lot of stimulus so I was thinking that I would try to do a Katniss outfit before um, you know probably not this week maybe the next week um, I'm not really sure how I'm going to to execute that, like what I want it to look like, uh, I, I've seen, I've seen someone, a friend or a friend, uh, JKG Vader, on Live Journal, who has done a Katniss outfit. And she does amazing costumes, and it looked pretty simple, but you know, I, I'm gonna have to probably go thrift store shopping this week, um, which will be fun. I love going thrift store shopping, but. You know, trying on clothes can get really tedious. But my big problem is I need to get, or I don't need, it's not a need, I want a Mockingjay pin, the pin that Katniss from the Hunger Games wears on her outfit. It's her token from her district. One of her friends gives her this pin of a bird. It's this gold, it's just a gold brooch. And um, it's actually on the cover of the Hunger Games book, which I have right here, so I can show you what that looks like if you don't know. Oh my, can't reach it. Oh my god. Okay. Um, whew. So, this is the Mockingjay here. And if you saw my video where I showed the t-shirt that I made a few weeks ago, that's the design that was on that t-shirt. And um, 
the Mockingjay has a big significance in the book if you've if you've read them. And um, so I'd really like a pin, but uh, Hot Topic used to sell them, and they don't have them anymore online. They're not listed. I went to Hot Topic today, and I was able to buy a few bookmarks that were Hunger Games themed, but they don't have the pin anymore. And I'm trying to think of a way that I might be able to make one. Um, I just don't know how. I mean, I feel like I'm just I'm not I'm not so great with. Uh, with clay and molding, I feel like I would do a really crappy job with Sculpey. Um, so, I don't know. Any suggestions about if you've ever made jewelry before, or if anyone's dab hand at Sculpey, or have any uh, bits and bobs of old jewelry that they think might be easily requisitioned into a pin? I don't know. So, I am looking into that. Um, I'd like to do some crafty things with this book with my kids, although, I mean, I'm not sure how crafty they it's going to really be, but you know, I, I'd like them to have a chance to practice some of the skills that the districts that they've been reaped into do. Like, every district has a different job, and one of them is textiles, like some of them are sewing, some of them are fishing, some of them are, are whatever, and um, so I'm trying to think of some projects that are hands-on for them, and uh, we won't call them crafts, because they'll think that's way too juvenile, but... It's pretty much crafts, which are brilliant. Um, so, hopefully interesting and fun things in the days to come. But in the meantime, I have not made progress with my quilts, and I feel really bad. But by the time I get to the end of my day, that's just not what I want to be doing. So I will, I'm determined to set down and get some more of that done. And, you know, see what I can make out of that. Um... One more thing before I go, and I do apologize that I have nothing really of like, material to show, but, um, so my my dad and my grandmother have been in the hospital this week, and um, my grandmother in particular has been there a couple of days, and we, I, was, I was going to visit her this evening, and was riding for the elevator to go to her room, and noticed a sign on the inside of the elevator that said something along the lines of, are you a knitter or a cro do you knit or crochet? And I was like, oh, why yes. And um, yes, I talked to the sign. I did, for sure. And um, but so it, it's pretty much a, as a weekly gathering of people who knit and crochet, and they make lap quilts and, or lap quilts, lap blankets and shawls for patients at the hospital, and um, which I thought was really neat. And, uh, you know, I know that's not a unique thing, and I feel like that sounds a lot like what Project Linus does, which I think is amazing. And it, they, they may only meet on Thursdays, and it's from 2 to 4, so, as, you know, for the rest of the school year, probably can't do it. But once the summer hits, I think I really want to try that. It would just be nice to have people to knit with. Um, and to practice crocheting with and have a reason to be knitting and crocheting and, you know, practicing you know, practicing those skills for a good cause. So I will keep updated on that and see how that goes, but I think it could be really fun. Um, I haven't done a lot of knitting lately, and I need to get back into that because I do enjoy it. It's really relaxing, but it's just not something that I've had time or the inclination to do. So big plans. In the meantime, I think our count till the end of the year is like 25 days, maybe. We've got like three weeks before EOCs, so praise the possum overlords. It is going to be glorious. Um, that is all I have. Um, I guess I can show off since I have it here. I went to a Scottish festival this weekend, and I bought a very pretty hairpin that has the clotta on the top and it just slips right into your, my hair and holds it up and it's a nice alternative to an ugly clip so not really crafty but it makes me feel special and artsy um, and there were some pretty neat crafts at that Scottish festival and I coveted so many of them there were gorgeous painted boxes and there were different crafts with tartan of course always um, some beautiful jewelry I um, so I did not come away with much of that sadly but it was lots of fun. So I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week and that you are all staying safe and happy and crafting to your heart's contents. Have a good one. Bye.